My name is Michel Tellier. I'm responsible for the aerospace and defense sector at Desso Systems. Um, we develop uh, solutions uh, for product development and manufacturing and support in the entire life cycle. And um, we, we, we have the honor of serving most of the major customers in the aerospace sector. In fact, most aircraft uh, flying today have been developed, uh, if not all aircraft, have been developed on our software. So we're very proud of that. I think in 2016 we'll probably see for the first time a commercially licensed drone delivering a consumer good to an individual. It's been in the work for a long time, it hasn't happened yet, and I think in 2016 we'll probably catch that for the first time. Also in 2016 we're going to see an autonomous aircraft complete its circumnavigation of the globe. Solar Impulse started last year, started this year I should say. Um, and when we say autonomous, it's because the only reason that that aircraft will land is because the individual within it has run out of food and supplies. Because it can stay aloft perpetually. And, uh, and, and they're going to fly around the globe and, uh, and that's very exciting. They're going to finish their journey uh, next year. So far they've made it to Hawaii. So that, that's, that, that is something we're looking forward to in 2016. If, if I look at the different regions around the world, in, in, in the Americas, um, I think one of the things we're going to see in 2016 is, um, is you know, the onset of some large programs. And those programs are going to have both schedule and cost objectives that are significantly more aggressive than we've seen in the past. And, and they're going to be riding on, if you will, you know, the recent wave of, I would say, successfully executed programs. I mean, we right now are uh, in a phase in aerospace and defense where the programs are delivering on schedule, on cost, on target. And, um, and of course that means that the targets now have to be improved um, and made more ambitious. So I think, I think we're going to see that happen in North America. In Europe, we're going to see the investment in manufacturing take hold. There's been a lot of investment over the past years to transform how aircraft are produced and spacecraft and satellites. And we're probably going to see for the first time things like smart tools on the shop floor, um, you know, rate ready or large volume additive manufacturing. We're going to start seeing the real evidence of a transformation on the shop floor and in the production process for aerospace. And, and that's going to happen in Europe. And that's, that's, where, that's where we're going to see it, um, especially with the examples I gave. In Asia, it's easy. There's China's launching uh, the Long March 5 rocket. Uh, middle of the year, um, they're going to be spending every minute and every second up until then making sure that that flight goes without a hitch. So I think we're all looking forward to seeing a, a, a flawless flight of Long March 5 uh, somewhere in the middle of the year. And so that, that'll be very exciting for, for, for the aerospace sector in China and in Asia in general. And if, if I were to project myself further, 2020 prediction, I think what we're going to see, which will be very exciting, is, is the onset of, uh, of, of, of air taxis. Aircraft that can be remotely piloted, that can vertically take off and land, that can fly at speed, packaged and put into operation as a service like Uber, where you pull out your phone, you'll reserve a flight, and, uh, and it will fill that niche that we have today, which is, you know, wh wh how do you get from one place to another um, that's, let's say, over, over 50 kilometers and, and less than 500 kilometers, because, you know, under 50, you're obviously going to take a taxi. Over 500, you'll get a plane ticket. In between, there's a hole, there's a gap. There are people working today, like Joe B Aviation, out to fill that gap. And that's very exciting. And I think by the time 2020 rolls around, these guys should have their plane in operation. Thank you.